Hi everybody, let's see what the upcoming weekend has in store for you. It could be about love, finances, events, trips, anything. Please subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Let's begin. This spread is for all air signs. Perhaps your story isn't here, but there is also a separate spread just for your sign. We have the High Priestess, we have the Queen of Swords, then we have the World clarified by the Three of Swords and the Devil, and we have the Five of Wands on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with an air sign, another Gemini, another Libra, or another Aquarius, or you could be dealing with a Capricorn. So the Queen of Swords in the spread is most likely you air signs, male or female, so absolutely doesn't matter. And um, actually, I really like the spread. I really do. Something is coming to an end uh, with the World card. The World card for me is the Happy End card. So something, um, if you were going through something that wasn't good for you, or if you were dealing with somebody who was toxic, who was abusive, somebody who uh, used you, took advantage of you, that is coming to an end and the new happy chapter of your life is going to begin. And uh, all of it is because you're going to use your intuition with the High Priestess, the first card that came out, right? And we also have the five ones on the bottom of the deck. It could be uh, some kind of a struggle or a conflict between you and another person or it could be an internal struggle right um, so yeah the world card is clarified by the three of swords and the devil the three of swords is a card of a heartbreak or this is a card of something that's not serving you someone abusive or basically if you've been living in some kind of a bad environment or toxic environment or this relationship that you're in right now is kind of toxic or actually bad for you you will eventually realize it at some point before the weekend or during the weekend and uh, you're going to end it um, yeah so either way no matter how I look at this spread this is a very positive spread something that was not good for you is coming to an end it's also possible that an ex could uh, reach out to you but uh, you're going to reject them because you know that this person is not good for you so like I said something that was not good for you is coming to an end and uh, you're going to free yourself of that Gemini we have the hangman we have the seven of wands clarified by the nine of cups we have the six of pentacles clarified by the sun and we have the two of swords on the bottom of the deck it kind of looks like you'll have uh, to make a choice this weekend and it's going to be a choice between do you want to um, let this person into your life or not and uh, this person whoever this person is will be trying really hard to get into your life so the first card that came out is the hangman this is um, a, an unresolved situation or perhaps the person you're dealing with uh, had an epiphany moment and they'll say uh-huh I really want my Gemini <laughs> I really believe that uh, we're meant to be together I don't think it's gonna be creepy like that but um, you know people do come to realizations like that every once in a while and uh, here they come with the 701s the 701s is a card of somebody who is actually on the defense but they are very actively defending something what they believe is right or what they believe is theirs right so they're gonna come forward and uh, they will try to prove you that it's a good idea to start a relationship or to go on a date or to start a conversation but I think you already know this person so this person will be defending the uh, the idea of uh, the two of you getting together why are they doing that because of the nine of cups clarifying the seven of one nine of cups is a wish come true so you are their wish come true <laughs> then we have the six of pentacles clarified uh, by the sun and we also have the two of swords on the bottom of the deck so the two those cards are all about you making a decision, making a choice. So the two of swords is you are at the crossroads. Do you want to give this person a chance or not? And uh, the six of pentacles right there. I think this is also you deciding between um, staying single, staying by yourself, or actually letting this person into your life. And it's clarified by the sun. So the sun is the happiest card in the deck and the sun is also about uh, clarity. So at some point during the weekend you will 
get clear about the decision you have to make. But I think it's going to be completely up to you what you want to do here. All right. So that's what I got for you, Gemini. Libra. We have the Six of Swords clarified by Death, we have uh, the Nine of Pentacles, then we have the Two of Swords clarified by Justice, and we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with uh, Scorpio, or an Air Sign, Gemini, another Libra, or Aquarius. I think this weekend you're going to be um, facing somebody from the past. It could be a Scorpio, or it could be another Air Sign, Gemini, another Libra, or Aquarius. And um, so here we have the Six of Swords clarified by death. The Six of Swords, I believe, uh, this is somebody coming back around. It could be a Scorpio, because death is the personal Scorpio card. Or death, in this case, symbolizes what ended in the past, the relationship between the two of you. But uh, here you are, right there in the middle with the uh, Nine of Pentacles. This is a card of a single person, but most importantly, this is a card of somebody who is uh, self-sufficient, independent, this person is admired by many. Perhaps uh, you have uh, become more popular or you just did something that makes you look awesome. I'm not saying that's not the way you were before, but right now this could be... Um, <laughs> you could be glowing, that's what I'm trying to say right now. And uh, the person you're dealing with, this ex, they noticed that, or perhaps they've been missing you, perhaps they realized that grass wasn't greener on the other side if they left you for somebody else, or they just uh, see your glow with the Nine of Pentacles, and uh, they want to come back around and reestablish this relationship. It could be another air sign, the, we have the King of Swords on the bottom of the deck, um, or this is your energy, right? Uh, male or female absolutely doesn't matter. And uh, then we have the Two of Swords clarified by Justice. Uh, justice is your personal card, Libra. It's always a good sign to have your own card in a reading. That means you're the one in charge, you're the one uh, making a decision, you're the one calling the shots. Speaking of uh, making a decision, the Two of Swords, I think this is uh, the Crossroads card. So you will have to decide uh, to let this person back into your life or not. And I don't know if you're going to reach this decision by the end of the weekend. Perhaps you will, perhaps you won't. But uh, like I said, it will be 100% up to you what you want to do with this person. Get back together with them or send them back to the past where you may think they belong. Aquarius. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Eight of Wands clarified by the King of Pentacles. And we have the Knight of Wands. And we also have the Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck. You could be dealing with a water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or you could be dealing with an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. So, um, Aquarius, somebody really, really wants you, but uh, you are not welcoming them with uh, open arms for some reason. So, you could be dealing with a water sign, uh, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, or an earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. We have the King of Pentacles right there. This is, like I said, either an earth sign, or somebody who is very grounded, they could be good with their finances. And uh, we have all these cards suggesting that uh, they're going to be um, trying to breach your castle. Because <laughs> um, we have the Knight of Cups, the Ace of Wands, the Eight of Wands. All of these cards are suggesting that there will be a lot of communication. They will be sending you flowers, they will be calling you, texting you, coming over following you, hopefully not in a creepy way, but they will be really trying to get your attention and they will be really trying to uh, start something with you. And uh, we have both cups and uh, wands here, so it's both about love and passion, right? So I don't know if you've already met this person at some point in the past, it could be an ex or it could be somebody brand new you just recently meet, met or you're going to meet them over the weekend. But like I said, you are not looking forward to uh, getting getting together with this person for some reason. The Eight of Swords on the bottom of the deck, this is you feeling stuck, you're feeling trapped. Perhaps this is not the, the right timing. Perhaps you're busy, perhaps you are just concentrating on something else. Um, or you could be still recovering from something that happened to you in the past because the Nine of Wands, the card right next to you, uh, the deck, this is actually the outcome. The Nine of Wands is somebody who puts up a wall between themselves and the person who is uh, 
reaching out to them. And the Nine of Wands is a card of a wounded warrior. So like I said, you could be um, still recovering from something. If this is an X, then I can understand that. Or uh, this is just not the right time. Perhaps they can try again, but you'll have to let them know. And uh, you can also let me know how this plays out for you in the comments down below. But um, if you had any doubts about this person's intentions, then um, you shouldn't doubt them. I don't see anything suggesting that they have an ulterior motive, if they just want to take advantage of you. I think they really, they're really into you. And uh, they will be expressing their feelings towards you over the weekend. And there you have it. I hope my readings resonated with you, and if they did, I hope they make your lives better in one way or the other. Please share and subscribe and hit the bell to get notified. Thank you for watching.